Hello everybody, welcome back. And are you ready for one of the hardest rooms thus far? Like, I could seriously consider it one of the hardest rooms in the game. Because, it's, first off, it's so early in the beginning. And it's just such a large field and there's a lot of enemies. So, just trust me on this. Don't fight them. Just run for it. And I'll show you where to run, okay? Let's do this! Uh, hate this room. Okay, don't waste any time. Just keep running. Go down the stairs. You can go left or right. Does not matter. You will have creepy things follow you. <laughs> I really hate that one that's behind us. <laughs> it has like six arms and stuff. It used to terrify me. When I was younger. Oh my god, the spiders are jumping after us. <laughs> okay, now go down this middle. And make you to do this. Because we cannot fight that many. Where'd you go? Why'd you leave? Mother's angry. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't think we're getting past that. We can try. Everything else is falling apart. Maybe it'll work. Wait. Yeah. Nope. Not gonna work. Okay. This will become important later on in the game. Now. Until then, we have another puzzle to do. Where's Yorda? Where'd she go? Yorda! Where'd you go? Oh, fine. Do whatever you want, you crazy woman. So basically, you might have noticed these things right here, and camera angle tells us to do something. And we have the option to pull this. It is not quite clear why. Actually, sometimes Yorda will hang around these. So it's kind of a hint off with her, too. She's all like, Pull this lever, you dummy! No. <laughs> I could totally see her like going up to these puzzles like, Why are you so stupid? <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving her that accent. But it's funny. To me. Yeah, she probably knows all these puzzles. Well, it is kind of her castle, in a way. As in, she lives here. So, yeah, look at Yorda. She's just chilling. You wanna, like, help me? No, just gonna relax? Ah, I would too. How did this happen? 
How? What? What? Okay, whatever. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. So, anyway. When we go back, there will not be monsters. Yay. But we also need to do another puzzle that requires the fire that we just lit. And I will show you that later. We're just going to explore a little bit. See what we missed since our rush. As we pull Yord along. Yeah, here's the other staircase. You can go there if you wish. But it just leads the same way. Looks like we have some stones. It looks like a bed. To me, it always looked like a bed. You wanna... Yorda, you are... Are you okay? <laughs> kind of following me. I'll let her have her space. Now, camera angle says, hey, check this place out. Well, we can't go there yet. However, it will become important later. A lot of things you won't be able to get to just yet. Just love the environment. Sorry. <laughs> Such an environmental floozy. I love it all. I just like the sheer size of it, you know? A lot of games tend to make small environments. But this one, oh man, it takes the whole thing. And yeah, the fire keeps going all the way up here. Now, sorry if it's a little bright. I had to turn up my brightness level. Because it was a little dark on the original screen. But here, we find bombs. Why we find more bombs? And why they give them six of us? We will never know. And I want to know who's making these bombs. That is a even more important question because <laughs> they weren't there however we have a blockage here we want to blow it up simple as that get some fire up in this there we go and light it ever so carefully now run <laughs> run away run away Woo! Do 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 do. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I I always expect it now. Curse you, Zelda games. Curse you. This game is being serious. Whoa, crazy camera. That was pretty cool. Made you feel so in made you feel so insignificant. That is depressing. Now you may want to save. It's probably a good idea. In fact, I think I might. Come on, you gotta join me. I'm gonna zoom in, yeah, extreme setting and close up. I stupidly um, redid some stuff because I noticed my um, my recording device was not working properly. It was it was starting to chop up the cutscene. And I didn't want to sacrifice it, you know. It was just like a couple like minutes of gameplay that I had to redo. And we have more creatures. Wonderful. I'm gonna bring Yorda down here, so that way we get this camera angle and we can see them coming from all different sides. This creepy looking thing. Get, get away. No. Get off her. Crazy things. What are you? Why do you even follow the queen? Well, I, I guess it's kind of obvious why. Oh, hey, no. No, not while I'm down. No, no, oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. Hurry. Keep fighting, Yorda. Punch him, something. Keep going. Come on, you can make it. Yeah, we got there in time. Ow. Yeah, even if you get hit, Yorda will still get up if you pulled her out of it. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Imagine if there wasn't. Will you stop dodging. Stop dodging my attacks. I'm trying to take her. No, spiders. No, no, get, stop it. Whoa, everything's attacking me. I don't even know how I hit that. No, stop it. Spiders, die. You are not welcome. Oh, ah, no. Yeah, if you're not in the same screen as Yorda either. Oh, man, this is bad. If you're not in the same screen with Yorda either, it will cut to you and where she is. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure that out. Woo, that was close. Get away. Yordo, did you let go of my hand? Because I did not let go of yours. Get out of here. No one loves you. Not even your mother. I'm presuming the queen. No, no, get, no. 
Don't try and fly behind her. That's that's rude. That is rude, good sir. No, no, you crazy blue-eyed freaks. I don't even know how I'm hitting you, because you look like you're made of gas. Or maybe they're beings from an alternate dim dimension. Oh. That'd be a doozy. Although, if you think about it, <laughs> if you played this game already, you kind of can see how that can occur. If it's an alternate dimension sort of thing. I don't know. It'll be explained later. But for right now, we don't know what the hell these things are, or why they prefer to go after Yorda. Well, I think it's kind of clear, because it's obvious that they go with the Queen. Well, at least they look like they're servants of the Queen. Who they are, we are not gonna... Ah! Oh, why did I jump off? <laughs> what was that? I was like, I'm gonna jump over now! No, stop it. Finally! Gonna can't teabag you in... I go... <laughs> this is the closest. There! How do you like me now? Alright. I'm just gonna let you to chill here. She's gonna... Okay, you don't have to chill there if you don't want to. Uh, she sees the cube. The companion cube. No, I'm just joking. All my friends are talking about Portal 2 right now, so that's all I understand for the moment. That thing sounds heavy. Poor Aiko. And his 12-year-old muscles. And we push the cube onto the switch. Yeah, yeah, whoop, whoop. But, that does not do it. However, we need to put something here. It's heavy enough for us. Or, we're heavy enough to pull it down. However, we get off it, it goes back up. So, this is a Yordo-related puzzle. I'm sorry to use you, but if you could stand on that ever so kindly. Yes, we don't need the cutscene, thank you. And what is beyond here, we will show in the next video, because I need to cut it. And we will see you then. Bye-bye.